G'day guys, it's Alan here from Fishing Mad. And today we're fishing from the very beautiful Bostock Reservoir, which is past Balan heading your way towards Dalesford. Now I was fishing here a couple of years ago and the water levels were extremely low. So it's really pleasing to be back today and see those water levels at a really healthy state. And what's even better is that this system has been heavily stocked with rainbow trout over the last couple of years. And particularly this month, fisheries has come down and I think released 7,000 rainbow trout, which is fantastic news for anglers. Um, we're just bait fishing today. I'm with a couple of mates. One's got a pretty serious injury, so we can't walk around and flick lures. So we're resorting to bait. We're just going to be using stuff like that. Power bait, some scrub worms. There's trout in here. There's redfin in here. There's a lot of small fish, but I've also seen some pretty big thumping trout pulled in out of here in, over the last couple of years. So stick around. Hopefully we'll get onto a couple of decent fish. We've got roach. We've got carp. Rainbow trout, plenty of them. Seen some big, big brown trout pull from here. And then we've also got redfin, it's probably your most common catch here. Eel and tench. Movement on the surface everywhere. Look at that, right in front of us. All I'm using today, guys, is just my light spinning outfit. That's a two to four kilo rod. And then just sticking to the same things that I've been doing a bit lately, nice little running sinker rig. And uh, how good's that for bait? Just a couple of scrub worms on a really size, small size eight hook. Generally pretty dynamite combination for redfin and trout. Oh, it's got a little bit of weight. Yeah. A small one. What do I need? Just. Yep. That's all right. Lift him up. Not bad. Good start. It's actually a nice fish. Is that already? Yeah. yeah. Well done, mate. Thank you. Hmm. You just take stuff like this and flick them, and the tailor go berserk apparently. Yep, yep. 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 Look at that, eh? I quickly flicked the crossover to the lures just because the baits aren't getting a touch. I've been here for about an hour. I've only caught one redfin. I'm just getting uh, little trout finglings uh, one after the other now just on some uh, some metal spoons. So uh, so when you consider there's been 7,000 of those stocks, so just think of how good this system's going to be in a few years' time. So uh, let's get this guy back in the water. I don't know, they're just hoping there's something big amongst it. It's not going to be the little ones that'll take it. Oh, yep, yep. Hey. How's that? Right on cue. Oh, it's tiny. Look at that. Oh, I had a tap then again. Yep, yep, 100%, that was a hit. Oh, he's still going for it. Look, look, he's got it. Oh, <laughs> you see that? Yep, yep. Yep.
Look at that, eh? Feels a little bit bigger. Oh, maybe not. But... Nice no, little guy. <laughs> They're laughing. Yes, yeah, another little one. They're getting smaller. Yeah, look how tiny that is. That is just so tiny. Just to give you guys an idea of how small some of these trout fingerlings are. Look at that. That's a five centimeter bullet lure. And that's a real life rainbow trout that we're going to put back in the water. And there ain't much difference between them. So there's some really, really tiny fish in here. Not great for us today, but you can imagine this system in three or four years is going to be fantastic. So uh, let's get him back in. I think at one stage this would have been probably all underwater here. There's definitely a lot of movement up over there, so we're going to go and check that out. You can see some movement there, but there's definitely a flurry of something going on up here that I want to check out. Definitely want to uh, have my eyes open for Look at that, there's definitely some movement there. That's a good cast right over the top of them. And see if we can go through. Yep. There we go, so there's another, again it's that movement, oh, here's another one, beautiful rainbow trout, and that's definitely a little fingerling that's just been stocked, and it's pretty shallow water there, look away guys, beautiful. Alright guys, I've been here for a couple of hours, it's been pretty tough going, we haven't had a lot of hits on the baits other than these couple of reddies. Certainly not big ones, that one's probably just in the low 30s and that one's just a little bit smaller. And I've caught a lot of the uh, small trout fingerlings just flicking some soft plastics and some uh, little metal spoons. But uh, so look, you can obviously catch fish here. Has been a tough morning, but hey, that's fishing sometimes and at least we've caught a couple of fish and got to see a really beautiful part of the world. Great place to bring your family. There's gas barbecues and open grounds for picnics and, and obviously uh, some fish you can catch. So uh, get out there and get fishing and check your local uh, trout stocking programs too, guys. Cheers. Music